All right, so we're going to go through number one of the uh, second law of practice problems. We've got a rightward force of 302 newtons, force of 302 newtons. It's applied to a 28.6 kilogram crate to accelerate it across the floor. All right, so there's my crate, um, and it has a certain mass. That mass is 28.6, 28.6. All right, and accelerating across the floor. The friction between the crate and the floor is 215 newtons. So not quite as long as my other force, uh, but friction, 215 newtons. And it's on the floor, so I know that this has uh, weight, mg. It's on the floor. The floor is pushing up because it's not falling down. It's an accelerating downward, so there's a normal force pushing up. Determine the acceleration of the crate. All right, so we have our free body diagram. Um, always start with that free body diagram, step one. The next step is that net force. All right, let's look at the net force. Now, the normal force and the weight are going to cancel out, so I'm just left with the force, that rightward force pushing, and the friction pulling back on that, so that force minus the friction. Um, now, I know both of these. If I didn't know, I would just plug in what I do know and leave it at that, uh, but I know both of these right now, 302 minus 215, that leaves me with a grand total of 87 newtons for that net force on the block. All right, but I want to find the acceleration, not the net force. So last step, um, that net force, Newton's second law, says that's equal to the mass and how much it's accelerating. So I know the mass, 28.6 kilograms. I'll leave the acceleration. I don't know that, but I do know the net force. That's 87 newtons. Divide both sides by 28.6 kilograms, 28.6 kilograms, and I get a grand total of 3.04 meters per second per second of acceleration. There we go. Now, just in case, if I got a problem, let's say the next one, that doesn't give me um, all the information I need, let's move this over. Uh, let's say for number two, I want to set this one up. As a bonus, if you're watching this, as we're doing a football workout, two linemen are pushing the coach on a sled. All right, so I don't care if it's a coach on a sled or whatever it is. There's my random object. All right, and it has a certain mass. Um, the combined mass of the sled and the coach is 300 kilograms, so 300 kilograms. The friction between the sled and the grass is 2,400 newtons. All right, so I'm going to have it the same way. So let's say this is the friction, 2,400 newtons. Uh, the first step, like everything else, um, is to draw that free body diagram. So this is going to have weight, mg. It's going to have a normal force holding it up, normal force. And if the friction is going to the left, I drew it to the left. You could have drawn it to the right. doesn't matter. But we have more force uh, that we're applying to the right, that the two linemen are applying. Um, I'm going to draw that as one combined force instead of two separate ones. Um, the sled accelerates at a rate of... 0.58 meters per second per second. So I know the mass, I know the acceleration. All right, so there's my free body diagram. Check, I've done that. Now, my net force. How do I find that net force? Well, I can't find it directly, but I know it's whatever force is being applied minus that friction. All right, and now for us, that's going to be F minus 2400, but I can't get any farther. But that's okay. That's my net force. All right, so that's step two. All right, check. Got my net force is whatever force is being applied minus 2,400 newtons. Third step is to set up Newton's second law. All right, net force is equal to the mass times acceleration. Now, I know the mass. Check. I know the acceleration. I know at least uh, uh, the net force is going to be whatever that is, so I'm just going to plug that in over here, F minus 2400 newtons. That has to be equal to my mass, 300 kilograms, times my acceleration, 0.58. Now the only unknown is the force that I need. Solve for that force. So the steps are still the same. Every single time, you're, every single time, all right, let's move this up. Oh, that's all right. Every single time you're doing a free body diagram, you're finding that net force, or at least setting up an equation for it, and then you're using Newton's second law to solve for whatever you need to solve for. It's the same process every 
single time.